Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and I'm at Inks Lake State Park. It's early in the morning, so I'll probably talk a little low, and because uh, there's people still sleeping. It's about, oh, I want to say 8 o'clock, maybe 7.45 a.m., and uh, yeah, this is my view from my campsite, number 82 at Inks Lake. I'll turn around and show it to you. This is east, obviously, and we'll come on around here, and I'll show you a few things. One of the things that I noticed is a lot of unsupervised kids take their axe and chop on these trees. And uh, that's the way that is. Anyway, this is my Class C motorhome here, my four wind. There's a bird all around. And there's the hookups. You got water and electric. 50 amps here. They got 50 amp service if you need it. But anyway, we'll walk over here. I want to show you a tree that was really chopped up by some kids. And those, these are the things that just ruin camping because eventually this tree is not going to be very healthy but you can see where they've chopped all over the tree but yeah this is my site right here it's pretty good it's fairly level i had to put some stuff under the front wheel up here as you can see but anyway let's just take a walk i won't do a lot of talking because i don't want to wake anybody up there's my beer 30 spot and my little table and now i've got to get the uh, trash and head towards the dumpster that's the actually believe it or not i didn't plan it but that's the restrooms and showers right there right across from this campsite so it'd be very convenient for someone that doesn't camp like i do you know i don't use the black water and all that stuff so here we go yeah it's a good campsite i mean you know but the good thing about camping is that there is a certain flavor you know people are doing things you know they're up in the morning you can smell food cooking and stuff Kind of neat. Yeah, here it is, right here. Check it out. So here we go. I'm going for my morning walk, and y'all can go with me for the first several minutes and see the or see the park. This is Inks Lake State Park, Texas, near Burnett, Texas, off Highway 29. Actually, it's, it's on Park Road 4. Near, it's not too far from Kingsland, Texas. Okay, here we go. I thought my shoe was untied. I'm looking for the dumpster, as I recall, there's one down here. The site that I reserved for two weeks is this one here on the left where that motorhome is and that gray car. It's number 78, I think. It's just got a little better view. You got a view, a little view of the lake down through there. And uh, anyway, I just, for some reason, thought it was neat. But I got it reserved for two weeks in September. And the worst thing that can happen is I change my mind and cancel it. And it cost me 10 bucks. Inks Lake State Park, early morning. May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo means 5th of May. That's when the Mexicans gained their, Mexico gained their independence from the French. Can't remember the name of the battle, but. <laughs> I love the birds early in the morning. Now I'll have to jiggle the camera a little bit to get this lid open so I can dump my trash. There we go. Trash dumped. That cooing noise you hear are uh, dove. Change hands there. What's the difference between a state park and an RV park? Well, an RV park is a rest home where you exist. A state park is where people camp and live. That's just my thinking. You know, it's just like you know, if you had a home in a uh, subdivision, that's that's kind of what an RV park is. You just have an RV in a subdivision, sort of. And that's I'm not saying it's bad. I've done. I've been living in one for a year, and uh, an RV park. But that's changing. I'm always asking myself, how could I improve my life, and what could I do to make life more enjoyable? But isn't this nice? And as far as the morning walk compared to the RV park, uh, 
This is hard to beat right here, guys. We'll let this go. There's another, there's some more restrooms right straight ahead there. Yeah, in the summers, I mean, well, actually, most of the year, this park is just slammed. Uh, during the week, it might get down to 80%, and then on weekends, it's 110. This is a one-way do not enter, but I'm going to enter. I think you can walk down a one-way, can't you? This is a good site here, very private. I mean, really private. I have to look for trees because I got 11 foot clearance. What site number is this? 289. Pretty neat. Uh, got some low hanging trees that I might be able to get in there. I'll check. Yeah, I could get in there, I think. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good. This one right here is another one. This, you got a little, you're right on the lake here. This is 288, but it's a little small spot. I guess you could park your car there. I could park my car there. Yeah, this backs right up to the uh, to the lake. You could walk down there and go fishing. Yeah, there's a trail there somebody's already made. Kids, I'm sure. Isn't that neat though? Pretty nice, guys. Pretty nice. This is just a little inlet off the lake. The lake is full when this when the lake well the lake is usually full. This is a constant level lake here, come to think about it. So let's continue on so I can get my exercise. I have to check on these. I might change to one of these. Uh, yeah, they are pretty nice. Huh, interesting. It cost me 10 bucks to change. Big deal. Is it worth 10 bucks? Spread out over two weeks to have a more enjoyable spot? Probably. It's the lake right here. Two eighty seven is the champion spot, I gotta tell you that. That one right here. I mean that one's got privacy, lake front and the whole thing. Yeah, that's that's pretty neat. A morning walk. Not too bad guys. Along the lake front at Inks Lake State Park. There's a few RVs here on the right hand side. There is something about it. I see people sitting out having their coffee. You know, it's it's pretty neat. Well, you know, they're on a, they're on a vacation. They're on a trip. It's a whole different uh, attitude towards life when you're on a trip. You know what I mean? You're you're kind of excited and. I don't know, you know what I mean. There's a kite <laughs> in that tree. Anyway, I'm going to go over here and I'll end the video. But I just want they got a fishing pier over here. You see it? Right over the top of that trash can, that wooden pier. A little fishing pier there. And if you're into kayaking and stuff, you can, can do that here. Anyway, guys, from Inks Lake State Park on a nice, cool, it's about 60 right now. It's going to be 85 or so today. Anyway, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Anytime. But if you think about it, use the Amazon link in the description of all my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, and buy whatever you choose.
Anyway, guys, keep your health. Drink plenty of water. Stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind. And enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. I guarantee you, it's getting by quick. But anyway, guys, enjoy your life. Adios. Bye-bye.